Welcome back to another episode of Scott Talk, where we sit down with members of the College of Worcester coaching staff and get to know them. I'm Devin Matson, a senior history and archaeology major and a member of the Worcester women's golf team. And I'm joined by Lisa Campanel Kamara, who's in her 11th season leading the Fighting Scots program. Uh, thank you for being here with us, Coach. Thanks, Devin, for having me. Appreciate the invite. Yeah, of course. Um, so this is your 37th year as a college coach and the 24th year at Worcester. So what keeps you around at the College of Worcester? Well, I'd have to say be students like you, Devin, student athletes <laughs> like you. Um, it's, been, uh, it's been a wonderful uh, time here. I enjoy every day. Uh, I enjoy my days when I get to spend them with the student athletes. And um, uh, they're so engaging. They keep me young, I think. Um, and, uh, you know, they have always, everybody has a strong desire to learn and get better. And, um, and you know, they, they teach me stuff every day. So I, I appreciate myself coming to work and having to learn something new every day. Awesome. Well, we appreciate having you. You definitely teach us something new every day as well. Thank you, Devin. <laughs> So the program got its first tournament win in 2014, and more recently has won five tournaments within the last two years. Uh, so what do you feel was the turning point in the program? Um, I think it was team confidence. You know, once we, we started to feel like we could, um, we could compete and we can compete uh, against some very strong teams, I think our confidence level just, just really exploded. And uh, I, I've noticed that there's been, you know, we have, a, we have an expectation to win every, every event. And uh, I think that's built upon, you know, uh, our athletes and yourself and uh, the leaders that we've had in the program to kind of, you know, come to practice, that's, that's work, that's get better every day um, and, and make improvements. You know, golf is a different sport because sometimes um, you think you're good and then, uh, a coach might ask you to make a change, a slight tweak in a swing or something like that. And that's really hard to do um, because you're so used to what you've done in the past. But uh, I think everybody's bought into this is this is a long haul. It's a four year um, uh, opportunity to compete uh, at the collegiate level. And so to, to get better and get ourselves better, we have to sometimes make changes. And I think buying into that and, and getting the confidence once you start seeing that the results work with some changes, um, then, then things really, really start to click for us. So confidence has probably been our, our biggest a asset on that. Um, I think we, we have athletes in the program that are very competitive and love to compete. And I think that's what gets us to where we are right now. Yeah, the confidence on our team and the competitiveness of our team um, definitely helps us, I think. Yeah, I think you guys all uh, love coming home with hardware. You know, it's, it's great to, carry something out after a tournament and hold it in the van and, you know, <laughs> take it back to your room like a Stanley Cup. <laughs> um, so switching to the facilities, um, let's talk about one of the newest golf additions, the Bob Nye Varsity Golf Training Room. Um, mm -hmm. So the simulator. Um, what are some of the key features of that room and how does that um, differentiate Worcester's golf program from other programs? Well, it's an, it's an awesome uh, facility and, uh, you know, we thank the Foster family, um, um, Dune and John for, for donating that uh, to us. And then what, a, what an honor to name it after uh, such a uh, great coach, Coach Nye, who, you know, built that our men's golf program up to be the only national championship that we have here at the College of Worcester. And, and our, he was also our men's soccer coach. So he did some wonderful things. So it's a great honor to walk in there. And I, I knew Coach Nye for, since I first came to Worcester and what a tremendous gentleman he is. So uh, he was. So we, we, we really uh, appreciate that, um, the generosity. Um, the, the, the thing that's, that's the great about the um, simulator room is that, uh, you know, it has the technology, we have the software in there to, to really um, make some things happen and, and, and hit throughout the year, which is in Ohio is, is a great opportunity that we, we can actually do some work in there, um, play some courses and uh, get, get ourselves better um, throughout the year. And, you know, anytime you have that as an opportunity, I think that falls into, uh, if, you, if you love to play golf, you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna hit as much as you can. And um, having the software uh, with, that, with that, the ability to analyze swings, the ability to track uh, 
track our swings, track our distances. Um, are, are, it, it's just a great thing. Some yeah. I, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, I was just going to say, I love having the simulator as an opportunity to use that. Um, one of the reasons I uh, came to Worcester to play in the golf program is because of that simulator. Well, that, that's great to hear. Thanks. That's, we're happy to hear that. And, 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 and I think, you know, it's a great opportunity because it's, it's a private room and you can really focus in there and to be able to, if you just need to, to get away and just hit golf balls and just kind of a little peace of mind and, and go in there and do what you love to do, it, it's, it's a great asset for us. So the two courses that we have, um, Elsie Bowles, which is right on campus, and the Worcester Country Club, which is about a mile away. Um, so what are some of the highlights of those two courses for you? Well, the Elsie Bowles was uh, built in 1939, and what an opportunity we've had for all these years to have a college course right on our campus for, for our teams and for our students in general. Um, I, I like that it's close to everything, the proximity. Uh, you can come out of class, grab your bag, and go, uh, and, and, and go to the range. We have the nine holes that we have access to. We've been, uh, the last few years, we've made some improvements there for a practice facility for us. So we have our wedge range over there, putting greens, um, a bunker. Uh, so we can do a lot of things over there that uh, are right on campus and we don't have our student athletes driving um, a long ways to go practice. So we, we, we love that aspect of it and, um, uh, and I give kudos to the grounds crew who's done a tremendous job of, of uh, maintaining that and uh, especially during this COVID time of getting it ready for us to practice uh, this fall. And then what about the Worcester Country Club? There's some highlights for that. Well, as you know, that's a very challenging course and we love it, right? Yes. Um, we, we love playing over there. It is a beautiful course. Um, they do a great job of keeping the, the, the uh, course in shape. Um, the, greens, the greens roll true. Um, right now it's in, in the fall. It's a beautiful time to play over at the Worcester Country Club in the fall. And uh, to be able to have access to that um, it is a, a great, a great asset for us as, as a team and as individuals to go over there and play. Uh, being that it's, it's less than a mile away from campus is another big positive for us. Uh, you know, uh, we're fortunate that we don't have to travel very far for practice facilities and that's a huge advantage if, um, you know, if you have a busy day in your schedule and you've got to get back and study and or write a paper to just to be able to have that extra time uh, and not traveling it, it, it is huge for us. And, uh, and what makes it challenging is, is the front nine is totally different than the back nine, as you know, um, <laughs> three different errors. And uh, we, you know, the, the back nine is tough. It's hilly. It's, it's, uh, it, you've got to be precise. And, and uh, the front nine is a little bit longer. So um, it's like you're playing two different courses in, in one round. And uh, I think when we have teams that come and play in our Eva Wise Clark uh, Invitational, um, they will tell you that how, how hard that is. <laughs> and most most scores, most averages from teams are, are slightly higher. Um, but I think it, and I think really for us to be able to practice on a facility like that day in and day out only gets us better because I really truly believe it's one of our more difficult courses that we play at. Yeah, it's definitely hard, but I love that we get to play there. Um, so you have a strong team unity and that really came through during uh, your fight with breast cancer a few years back. Uh, so can you talk about the team environment uh, you create and what potential fighting Scots could expect from you as a coach and their teammates? Well, I think you guys, you know, you guys have brought that um, uh, concept of being, being team players and, 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 and I think we have a, a culture of caring, you know, people, coaches talk about family, being a team and, and uh, is a family. It, it really is. Um, but I also think that it's a culture of caring and, and all, each one of you have, um, are, are very uh, considerate of each other, very supportive of each other. And I think that makes a big difference in, in a culture when you can, when you, you know, care deeply about somebody. I mean, as you guys know, I love everybody on the team and, yeah. and I, and, uh, I, I, I will tell you, and I've told a million people that uh, once you're on my team, uh, you are forever on a roster. So, um, you know, I, I, never leave, uh, I never leave your life. And uh, I'm happy when you graduate and um, go and get careers or advanced degrees and, and um, 
positive things are happening in your life. And if, if it's a negative aspect, I'm there for, uh, for our players. And I think that is, is a culture that really kind of um, starts with the, the family concept. But, um, you know, it's also about the quality, it says a lot about the quality of our athletes that come in and, and um, you know, an individual such as you, Devin, who you've gone through some adversity yourself and, and, and we, have shared, uh, we have shared a lot together. Um, and, you know, as difficult as it was when I was going through the breast cancer, uh, every one of you were very, very supportive and, and, and made me uh, stronger through that and be, be able to get through that. So um, I am forever indebted for, for everybody's care and concern. And, and, uh, and we got through it together and we've got through some of your adversity. And, and um, you know, we, we, we look up to the heavens a lot of times and we know, we know your dad's looking down on us. And, and that's what families do. They support each other. And uh, I ex uh, expect that when we bring in new uh, uh, players to our roster, th the same the same concept too. Yeah, yeah. The team's definitely been one of the strongest uh, connections I've made at the school, so I'm very thankful that we have that unity. Um, so as we near the conclusion of this episode, we're going to fire off some questions, and we want you to answer with the first thing that pops into your head. Ready? Go ahead. I'm ready. Okay. Your favorite professional golfer? Oh, Phil Mickelson. I <laughs> love the way he grinds it out and never gives up. Yeah. Uh, your favorite Ohio golf course outside of Worcester? Um, I have a few, but I probably would like to, I, I think Apple Valley is one of my, my favorite. I don't get there as, not, as much as I want to, but uh, it, it's an hour away and I really enjoy being down there and playing. Uh, your favorite go-to spot for ice cream in Worcester? Well, that would have to be Hartzler's, hands down. Yeah. Um, your favorite college of Worcester tradition? Um, well, I love the bagpipes, like everybody yeah. else. Um, but I, I love the, the football tradition of um, and being a football mom, you know, as my son Kevin was a, a football player here for, for the College of Worcester. Um, I, I was a crazy football mom, and I loved standing on that, on that hillside, ringing my cowbell and, and cheering the the men as they came down the hill with the bagpipe band leading them down there. I think that's an awesome uh, feeling. And I, I don't think we, there's not another school in the country that has that. Yeah, that's one of my favorite things to watch too. Mm -hmm. um, and then finally, what's your favorite spot on campus that is not an athletic facility? Uh, I like the Oak Grove. I love to take my dog Rocco and walk over there. Um, the trees are beautiful, huge majestic trees. And I think that's just a, a beautiful spot on campus and it's right in the center of campus which is tremendous yeah it's a beautiful spot um all righty well thank you for joining us on scott talk coach uh we'll be back soon with another episode thank you devin